Hello, Miss Gadon. <laughs> Alright, so this is my fourth recording. The third recording didn't go well because it was cutting my head. So I have to do this one more time. But as you can see, no cheating. Nothing. Sorry, I got plates. My room is messy. But no cheating. No cheating. No cheating. No cheating. No cheating. Nothing. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the stand. I'm not using a phone, I'm using a camera. All right, so let's make sure. Okay, okay, sorry. Let's move it back a little. Okay, there we go. Alright, hi Miss Gaiden, hopefully you can see me. I'm here, alright, so today we're gonna assess bubble heart. We're gonna assess and teach bubble heart. So B stands for breast, U stands for uterus, the other B stands for bladder, the other B stands for bowel, the L stands for Lockyer, the E stands for episiotomy, the H stands for hormone sign, the A stands for attachment, the T is a titch. So to assess, to assess the breast, we push the breast to, to, to one side, gently and softly. Um, here we're assessing uh, for, um, we're assessing for the firmness, the softness, uh, the tenderness or pain, the heat, um, if it's engorged, um, and if they're in pain, I think I've mentioned that, and uh, if the nipples are cracked or not, all right? So for teaching, it depends on what the woman wants to do, if she wants to breastfeed or not. Um, if she wants to breastfeed, I'll start with not the breastfeeding part, but if she doesn't want to breastfeed and she's bottle feeding, uh, we're telling them to shower with the water hitting them on the back. We don't want the water hit on the breast, to wash the breast gently and pat them dry softly. Um, um, uh, to make sure that they're wearing a sports bra that's well fitted uh, to make sure that that sports bra doesn't have an underwire on uh, <clears throat> to make sure that they're not expressing the milk they're not feeding the infant that and they're wearing that sports bra for at least having two hours the beginning of that uh, to make sure that if they're in pain they're using analgesics to uh, to help with the pain uh, they can also use we can teach them that they can use cabbage leaves uh, for their for the tenderness and the redness and the crackness they can also use uh, linolin for the nipples um, as well they can use uh, ice packs corn kernel and green uh, green peas all right, so if they want to breastfeed, um, they have to feed the child consistently. They have to feed them at least every two hours. They have to make sure that um, they're expressing the milk, that they're not allowing the milk to, the breast to be hard and engorged. Uh, they're also making sure that they're checking for the, those cracked nipples. Um, they make sure that the child is latching well. So that's pretty much that for the for the breast for the uterus we're making sure that the uterus is uh, <clears throat> midline that it's not um, offside uh, that it's not up or under the umbilicus that it's consistent and it's not boggy process the fairness uh, we go we start from atop the umbilicus going down feeling until we feel the head of the fundus and then we make sure that we check for the location of that we're also checking sure that the uterus is firm and not boggy and that also goes to uh, 
the that also goes to the to the bladder because if if the if if the uterus <laughs> if the uterus is not firm it's because you're not massaging it or it's offside all right so for the for that we move on to the other B which is the bladder and as I said for the bladder um, uh, we're making sure that they're getting up to pee that they're peeing every two to three hours that um, we're teaching them that because we're teaching them that if they don't pee enough then they're gonna continue to hemorrhage and the uterus is gonna be boggy so we're making sure that they're peeing enough and if they're having problems to pee we're making sure that we're assessing that either either it's pain or they're having hesitancy if it's pain we're giving them analgesics if it's hesitancy we can open the tub they can hear that that can elicit the peeing um, we're also checking to see if there is, is your autumn is intact because that can influence that so that can be a pain thing again we're also assessing for the hygiene to make sure that they're washing their hands regularly uh, not regular all the time they go to the bathroom that uh, they make sure that they're washing their hands so that's that the B is we listen to the bowel sounds and uh, for us to listen to the bowel sounds we also assist them when last they went we listen to the um, not listen uh, we assess that and then to see if they're constipated we give them stool softness um, we also teach them to drink more fluids. Uh, we also teach them to modify their diet by having um, by having more fiber, so they can eat fruits, vegetables, uh, things like um, um, things like oatmeal, right? So it's just a balanced diet, more of that, and that can increase their diet. I mean the, the GI function and develop bulk and that also help with the epi episiotomy. The episiotomy, uh, the L is the luckiest, so we're assessing for the, uh, the color, the consistency, the appearance, the order, um, mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, they're not over bleeding, that they're not infected, that it doesn't smell weird, it's not saturating more than it should um that they're putting the pads correctly from front to back uh we're also telling them that um so yes that's for the lock here for the uh for the episiotomy which is the e we're asking not asking we're teaching them to um we're teaching them to, sorry. <laughs> All right, for the episiotomy, we're, we're teaching them for the, we're, we're assessing first, we're assessing them for the intactness, for the hematoma, for if there's any bruising, if there's any warmth, if there's any edema, if it's not intact. So that's what we assess for that because it can either be a, a Rasselated, or it could be uh, the grass stitches there. That's the episiotomy. So we're checking for all that in one go. All right. So we obviously take the pad, or um, and the brief, and we, we assess for that. So make sure that um, we're teaching them that if they've got an episiotomy, they use ice for the first 24 hours, and then a heat compress, and they can also put witch hazel. To that, and so it's just gonna uh, continue to bring down the inflammation, to bring down the pain, and if there's more pain than it should be, they can also add some analgesics to that, such as Mordrin. Um And um, we're also assessing for the um, for hygiene itself, making sure that they're uh, washing their hands they're putting the, the pad from front to back um, they're wiping from front to back um, yeah um, 
So that's for the episiotum itself. Uh, am I forgetting anything from that? Uh, holy cow. <laughs> am I forgetting anything on the episiotomy? Um, give me a second. I think that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know. Uh, for the H is a homo sign, so we're dorsiflexing it. And then if we dorsiflex, um, if they have any pain on the calf, then they might have a DVT. We don't want them to have a DVT because that can create um, a PE or a stroke. So we don't want that. And they're at the risk of that because they're not moving and they're also no they also have got an increased blood volume so we just don't want to have that also we can see the difference in the legs if the other leg is more red edemas warm compared to the other leg then you know that they definitely have got uh, they definitely have got a dvt and so that's what we do with that the a is the just attachment you're assessing the attachment for the baby and um uh, the baby and the mother. We don't want to send a mother home if there's impaired attachment. So we make sure that they're calling the name, the baby by the name, they're smiling, they're talking to it and stuff like that. We're also assessing if they're moving, if they're ambulating, that's for the activity. So we just want to make sure that they're able to take care of themselves and the baby and the family bonding as well with the child and the, there's a harmonious interaction with everybody. And that's also, imply that I've done the teaching itself. Oh my gosh, I hope I didn't forget anything on the episiotomy. But anyway, um, that's uh, pretty much everything on the bubble heart. Um, <laughs> this was fun. This was the fourth time. I've done this for like an hour. So, yep. But thank you. I miss you. I'm staying safe with this coronavirus and I can't wait to see you. Um, yeah. I miss you and I love you, Miss Kyron. All right. Uh, so let's be sorry, my legs are ashy. <laughs> but yeah, I'll show you their place again just to make sure that you see that I didn't put any posters or anything like that that you think I'm cheating off of. From all right, okay. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's my camera stand. There's nothing. There's nothing. All right. Goodbye.